So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your ninth TypeScript tutorial. It's been a while since I created some but let's just create and finish this TypeScript series and so here I am. Well <clears throat> what we did in the last tutorial is that we just created a basic function. I don't remember exactly it was some sort of area calculator and we just passed in a bunch of arguments with their data types <clears throat> like uh, you know whatever this can be so what we did is that we just basically created the type of arguments but what happens is that sometimes you don't need <clears throat> to actually know a particular argument like if you're creating a function um, let's just say this is area of ellipse so what you need is that uh, <clears throat> what you can do is actually you can just say that this is your radius one this is a number obviously but in case of a circle you don't need the second radius so if the user actually calls this function like area of ellipse like two then obviously the user means that he or she wants to calculate the area of a circle with the radius two because uh, this is redundant to provide the same value for a circle actually because its radius is same so what you can do instead is that you can make the second argument optional and for our case what's the best thing to do is that we set it to r1 itself right so <clears throat> what happens here is that in your default arguments like that you can make use of the arguments which are already specified earlier like for example if i have another argument here like r naught and this is anything you know then you can just simply do like r naught like there but this would produce an error most likely if you pass in string or something else so you know you can just manipulate it but you cannot do something with arguments earlier which are declared so you cannot do like r1 is equal to r2 this won't work because r2 is declared after r1 so you have to swap their positions if you want to make this code work well i'm just gonna get rid of this r0 as well for now and uh, pretty much this r0 here as well so let's just return math.py then r1 then r2 right so <clears throat> whenever the user passes only one argument then r2 is automatically assigned to r1 otherwise they are just working separately so if i just build this you can see in the compiled javascript what happens is that this area of ellipse function accepts r1 r2 obviously we don't have these data types like statically type language because javascript is not a static type then what we have in here is a condition if r2 triple equals void zero and this void zero is nothing it's just kind of like undefined written here it's one of the same thing it's just like you know void zero is a safe sort of undefined i don't know you can just make use of undefined there as well or maybe tell TypeScript as well to do that but anyways it's it just returns undefined here right so it's technically written if r2 is undefined and triple equal to you know just works to you know you just don't typecast either of the sides automatically so if r2 is actually undefined that means r2 is not supplied at all then r2 is r1 which is exactly what we want then return math.py and then the same code so this should be pretty easy to run and uh, this will probably return as the area of the ellipse or in this case the circle with radius 2 so that is all for this tutorial and actually I can just show you that as well if you want me to and just check the console and here you go so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick